It's late in the evening and Jean Delmar is still hard at work in his office in Abidjan. He's a computer specialist working on a project to use smartphones to register babies in rural areas. There are many moments when I just want to give up, even more as I heard that a big company I already talked with is implementing a similar project. But I'm not discouraged. The next morning he visits Songon village. Jean Delmar is looking for young mothers to help him test his invention. His goal is to persuade the Ivorian government to implement his program and not the one offered by a competitor. These women are taking part in the test registration. We are IT experts. Why can't we recommend a very simple solution, which can be easily applied to register births? You have been following the process yourself. I say to myself, we are all guardians of our villages. Children without an official birth certificate become phantom residents who cannot be registered in a school, get an identification card and later be able to vote. Officially, they don't exist. It's a problem not only in Ivory Coast. UNICEF estimates that more than a third of children worldwide are undocumented. In the past, parents in Songon had to travel for two hours to the next registration office. But with the SMS service, this would no longer be necessary. The registration is much more than a formality. It's vital for living, according to Nadej Kuma, a housemaid. I can hardly manage with what I earn. I have my house and I have to pay for all of that. Quite honestly, I cannot make it. But she has registered her daughter. I wish for my daughter to go to school and become a good person. I didn't go to school. That's why she has to, so that something can become of her and that she can achieve something in her life. In the evening, we meet Jean Delmar again in his office. He checks whether all the data arrived. But Jean cannot do anything with it because the government is still blocking his project. My dream is that we can soon implement Mon Niba, not only in Ivory Coast, but also in Burkina Faso, Niger, Togo and Benin. With that, millions of children could get legal identities. Meanwhile, Jean Delmar is not giving up, so that the 2,000 babies he has already registered through his system get official documents soon.